Hawaii, happy heart month and Kung Hei Fa Choi, year of the ox. I, I, I just know this is gonna be a great show and that's why we're all wearing red, but you're gonna find out more about that in a bit. It's a great start to a great year, I know it. I'm Wendy Lowe and I shall be your host as we journey to take your health back. We are coming to you live from my home office in Makiki and from the studios of Think Tech Hawaii in downtown Honolulu. Think Tech Hawaii showcases many diverse topics with about 35 different show hosts. We welcome you to join us daily as our boss, Jay Fidel, makes sure that we have high quality content to share with all of you. On my last program, I invited Henry Lee to share his heart and knowledge with all of us. I had the honor of meeting this unique young man who was visiting from Ohio, and uh, we spent a lot of good quality time together, not quantity, mind you, just quality time. I invited him back because we didn't, we didn't even get to touch upon what we are both so passionate about, about heart health. And being that this February is Heart Month, I just had to bring him back. Today, the title of our show is Heart Attacks Are Optional, question mark. Okay, and you're going to find out why that is. Keys to prevent heart attacks and strokes. I mean, he's going to tell us all about that. So I bet we got your attention, right? If not, you better sit back and see what he has in store for us. So the question of the day is, are heart attacks preventable? Most people believe heart attacks and strokes are ine inevitable. And most medical practices focuses on treating those diseases after they've occurred rather than preventing them, leaving them hopeless and not in control of their health. Today, Henry and I will touch upon ways you can educate yourselves and even reverse some of these symptoms. So sit back, relax, open your minds and your heart to receive this great message from our heart. Welcome back, Henry Lee, and Kung Hei Fa Choi to you. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> it's good to be back. Yeah, it feels like just uh, last week, right? <laughs> I mean, it went so fast and we had so much to talk about and then we said done. And we're like, hey, we didn't even get to the heart of it yet. So here we are. Let's get started. So what do Kung Hei Fa Choi and health heart, well, heart Health Mutt have to do with each other, Henry? That's, that's a great question, Wendy. Um, and so uh, I believe that's one of the reasons why you're wearing red and you're all decked <laughs> out for uh, Chinese New Year here. Yes. Um, yes. And you know what, I'm, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna turn it back on you. What, why is heart health so important to you, Wendy? Wow, okay, so, oh, and it happens to be, okay, let me just explain really quickly. My sister died four years ago today from a stroke. And that's mm -hmm. why I'm like happy, sad, and I need to share this information. And I thought so appropriate to have you back on Henry for that. But also my history is that I am, my claim to fame, I should say, is that I am the first keiki in the state of Hawaii to have open heart surgery here. So I was born in 1959 and they wanted to wait till I was five years old. Then they would send us away to San Francisco Military Hospital. But my case and my health was going down here pretty quickly. The American Heart Association formed the program that they flew in a pediatric cardiologist here about, um, let's just say, 50 plus plus years ago. And it's my broken bell. And here I am today, alive and well. So my claim to fame is I'm the first keiki in the state of Hawaii to have open heart surgery and thriving. And so we're going to hear mm -hmm. from Henry on how it is that I can thrive and many more can thrive with just the right knowledge and education. So you share with us now, Henry, what do they have in common? Wendy, thanks so much for opening your heart and, and uh, that vulnerable share. Um, you have shared with that, that with me before. And uh, I wanted to point out too that, um, you know, there's the, traditionally um, a lot of, uh, a lot of medicine you know, tries to do their best at uh, detecting heart attacks and strokes before they become a problem. And one of the things that our cardiologist, Dr. Goulder, which by the way, today is his 70th birthday. So happy Whoa, birthday, yay, Dr. We Goulder, celebrate if life. you're watching. <laughs> yay. <laughs> Um, he, uh, he practiced cardiology for 30 years in Marietta, Ohio, and uh, as a traditional cardiologist, he, he knew there was something that he could do, um, there had to be something um, that he could do to prevent the heart attacks before um, they be 
became uh, became an episode. So uh, he teamed up with a young lady named Barbara McClatchy, who later became his wife. Uh, she wow. happens to be a dentist. So it's literally yeah. marriage between medicine and dentistry. And you can see in this first picture here on the left, that's that's the beautiful couple right there. Um, wow. So um, hopefully they're they're out there uh, celebrating today, um, hopefully. Um, but they uh, they developed a program in partnership with something called the Bail Doneed Method, which I'll introduce to you later. Um, and basically, it's a program that empowers patients with knowledge and personal care. Um, and it shows them that heart disease and diabetes and um, a couple other chronic diseases that we thought were chronic before are actually reversible. Um, and we empower families and loved ones so they can live longer, healthier, with a more confident lifestyle. Um, you can see on the right, uh, the top right, that is our dental and cardiology team. And we also uh, do all sorts of other fun activities. Part of our dental team is down on the bottom right. We, we Pre-COVID, we used to do salad in a jar parties, meal prepping, um, and teaching people life, healthy lifestyle changes that they can take home and we can literally partner alongside them with their health journey. And of course, that bottom left is one of my favorite pictures of all time when I was able to visit you uh, in Honolulu in your home. Thank you right. for having us over. Right. Um, it's such a treat. Well, you were able to experience Hawaii um, and bring in the new year, Hawaiian style, and get your year off to a great start, too, yeah. as you shared all that information. We had to give you something to take back home with you. So, Henry, what does heart attacks are optional mean? Yeah. So. Um, on this page here, you'll see that this is something we call the root cause tree of arterial disease. It wasn't designed by us, but it's definitely one of the core concepts that we use at the Heart Attack and Stroke Prevention Center. Um, so Dr. Uh, Dr. Bale and Amy Donin uh, partnered up about 18, 19 years ago to develop this system uh, to detect the sources of inflammation before they became um, a problem. So if you look at those circles at the top, that's a cross section of your arteries. And it's supposed to be clear like on the left, but over time, um, there's many factors that are involved in this. Uh, you see that yellow stuff sort of seeping out into the outer walls. Um, that is the epithelial layer um, of your arteries. and and that plaque starts building up and it's not the plaque that causes the blockage it's over on the right hand side you see that it bursts back into the blood vessel causing a clot and if it happens in let's say something going up to your brain it can cause an ischemic stroke or heaven forbid you know a, a coronary artery and uh, cuts off blood supply to the heart so what we do is we look at all the root causes of inflammation on the bottom of that tree and you can see the ones in red, those are actually um, stemmed from dental, uh, periodontal disease and endodontic uh, gum disease. We've been able to identify certain bacteria strands that are present in the mouth that are directly correlated with certain diseases that we'll share later. But um, healthy lifestyle, you can see vitamin D levels. Uh, we take lipid panels and um, where whether you smoke or not, um, diabetes, there's all sorts of indicators that we can use to more accurately assess um, whether or what your risk is of a heart attack. Um, so when we say are heart attacks optional, they really are if you get down to the root cause of what causes them and snuff that those uh, the inflammation um, before it becomes a problem. Um, and the program has been very successful. Um, in fact, uh, compared to what they used to use, they used to use something called the Framingham Risk Assessment. Right. And that's an old school method back in the 40s um, that really just looks at a couple simple questions like, do you smoke? What's your cholesterol level? And what's your blood pressure? And at the end of the day, uh, it misses a ton of uh, episode heart attacks and strokes um, by just answering those questions. And so we take a look at really what are the root causes before, again, you have an episode. 
So I could go on and on, but we have a couple other slides that wow. I want to show you. I mean, you. and I'm just going to um, sit here and listen visuals. because I can so relate to all of this being a heart patient, you know, and um, living my life uh, all these years. And I knew, and everyone pretty much knows that the mouth is a gateway to your body. And so for many, many years, every time I went to a dental appointment, I had to pre-medicate. Otherwise, they wouldn't touch me. And it's because of that, maybe. And because they didn't do all the other work up, you know, the, like what you're talking about, they didn't have that common practice. So they just blanketed everybody by just, hey, you know what, take the antibiotic, cover yourself, and then we'll take care of your mouth, you know, and they didn't ever go further and see um, the risk factors for myself, or for many other patients. So touche for you, I wish. And when I come and visit you in Ohio, um, let's make me an appointment. <laughs> so I can get up to date. Absolutely. On my Right. I, I, I deserve it. I know I deserve it. So let's and so we can get the word out even further. So, Henry, how do you measure how old someone is from the inside out? That's a great question. So if you look at this here um, again, we instead of just answering a few questions on a questionnaire, um, we have a couple different state of the art pieces of technology. Uh, that we use to detect uh, not just blood flow, but that buildup of that plaque that is hiding within the, the intima media. Um, so this is called a CIMT. Uh, we introduced this to you two weeks ago, but I want to go a little bit more in depth with it. Um, a CIMT stands for, if you see that on the right hand side there, a carotid artery that's in your, your neck here. And there's a couple different uh, pathways up there, but we look at the carotid bulb and just below that, um, uh, and the, the thickness of the intima media, we can detect how much, um, how much cholesterol has built up inside of that. Um, and if we see plaque in there, um, depending on what your arterial age is, um, then we can uh, take a couple uh, modes of action. We can calcify it, harden it so it doesn't have the capability to jump back into the blood vessel and cause a clot later. Um, or we can really try to prevent uh, excess plaque from going into uh, that thickness. Um, so we, it's an ultrasound uh, instead of on your belly, right? Mm -hmm. Then it's a simple, non-invasive, non-intrusive, takes about 15, 20 minutes. Um, and then we can uh, take hundreds of data points and Dr. Golder can even do telemedicine over Zoom um, so you don't have to come back uh, into the, into the uh, practice to receive your results. Um, so we can tell what your artery age is supposed to be and what it actually is. So I got this done on myself. Um, I'm 39 years old um, and my arteries on the inside measured at 37. So I'm actually here on the inside and not to brag, but I think I look <laughs> young on the outside too. So I'm in pretty good shape. Wow. <laughs> So you know how they always say Asians age gracefully. And so even on the inside, well, when taking care and doing the right things, you're going to look as good on the inside as you are on the outside. And truthfully, the inside is what I'm concerned about, right? Because like I tell all my ladies, That's the right? plan. <laughs> yeah, you can paint the barn, but you got to take care of the inside of the barn first, right? Because if you got all these junk in the barn, how can mm. you have any room for any activity, good activity within so, wow, I'm learning so much and we're just getting started. So, Henry, if reducing systemic inflammation is the key, which we all know uh, inflammation causes disease, what are some simple steps that we can take to reduce our risk of heart attack? Yeah, so um, another tool that we use uh, in order to reduce that risk is something called an oral DNA test. Um, and it's not your DNA. It's the bacteria that you can find in the oral cavity. So um, of the over 300 species of bacteria that are present in the mouth, um, we focus on 11. And of those 11, you can see at the top of this chart in purple, those are the severe, then it goes down to the high risk and moderate. And you can also, if you can read that, I know it's a little small, but um, you can read the diseases that are correlated with each of those strands of bacteria. And so this is a picture of, of me taking my oral DNA test. Um, and uh, it's a simple, again, non-invasive swish and spit. Uh, and 
we can measure how much of each of those strands of bacteria um, are present in the mouth and thereby uh, figuring out what type of antibiotics to then reduce that uh, the, those uh, species of bacteria um, to a safe level or eliminate them. And we do that through a couple, a three-tiered step. And I'll show you that on the next slide here. Um, but that's basically what an oral DNA test is. That's one of the tools that we use in order to uh, combat heart attacks and strokes before they become a problem. Wow, that's amazing. So on your list, guys, and we're dating. That's another thing we have to ask. Can I see your oral DNA test results? No, no, right? Because then you'll see how the inside of their bodies are reacting and, and uh, living. Okay, so we move further on. So have you taken this step to reduce the risk of developing Alzheimer's, diabetes, and heart attacks and strokes? I, I have. This is actually wow. very similar to my chart. I was trying to find mine for you, um, but instead we, we're just going to use a, um, a sample patients here. Um, and of course, we've removed the name and everything for confidentiality, uh, confidentiality and HIPAA. But you can see this is out of the 11 bacteria on the top line there, there are nine that are present in this patient. And that was identical to mine. Um, and especially looking at uh, the FN, right? FN is uh, correlated with a number of diseases, uh, including uh, Alzheimer's and dementia, um, not just heart attacks and strokes, but also cancer and kidney disease, rheumatoid arthritis, um, autoimmune, um, and periodontal disease. So the goal is to get rid, clear out all that bacteria. And we do that with a regimen of a combination of antibiotics, depending on which strands are present there. Second step is to uh, give you probiotics to repopulate that prime real estate. So the bad bacteria can't take hold. Mm -hmm. And then third, we give you Juice Plus. Juice Plus is prebiotics, which basically in your bloodstream, it, and in your gut bacteria, it feeds the good guys um, instead of allowing the bad guys that feed off of sugar and processed foods and, um, and refined, uh, refined foods. Um, so it's a, a multi-step process. And uh, in that graphic, you saw that that was really over a four month period that we can reset your bacterial spectrum in your mouth. Um, and the two that are still there, those are underneath the, the acceptable threshold. So that patient wow. is now in good shape. Well, I love it. Prevention, 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 and just knowledge. That's amazing. So Henry, what other tests besides the CIMT and the oral bacteria DNA testing do you perform in order to guarantee against heart disease and stroke? Yeah, and I, I, I appreciate you using that word guarantee, and that's a bold statement to make. Um, but that is what we do here. Um, Dr. Goulder and Dr. McClatchy, they work together, again, with and dentistry. And so this is another test that we do. We have something called a comb beam. The beam is a panoramic, basically, x-ray that takes a look at your upper torso from your uh, third vertebra up. And you can see this is actually mine. Uh, this is my actual skull. It's a pretty dense skull um, if you compare it to others. And uh, we look at a number of things. Uh, it spins around your head, and then it gives you this 3D graphic that you can manipulate. And that top right uh, graphic shows you uh, the the roots. So if you have a, let's say, a wisdom tooth extraction coming up, uh, then we do one of these scans first so you can see just how many roots that tooth has. Or if there's an infection down there, then we can see if anaerobic bacteria is being housed down there. And the bottom graphic shows you the airway. And so it's color coded based off of the thickness of your airway. And that oftentimes correlated with your sleep apnea. And so, you know, you have this dental problem um, that you can um, oftentimes figure out, or sorry, medical uh, issue that you can oftentimes alleviate or fix uh, by doing, if needed, a surgery or um, some sort of, uh, some sort of um, sleeping apparatus to help you get more oxygen at, at night. 
And on the root cause tree, sleep apnea is one of those uh, factors that increases your risk of heart attack and stroke. So we combat it from both angles, medicine and dentistry simultaneously. Wow. <laughs> I, I want to be in the dentist chair right now, having somebody uh, investigate what's within my mouth and my body. I love it, Henry. I really, really love it. Gives me a good reason to come to Ohio, I tell you. So since your patients, especially your dental patients, only come in once every three, what, three to six months, how do you partner with them in their day-to-day -day health journey? We have a number of uh, webinars that we do. In fact, we have one tomorrow that is being given by um, Brad Bale and Amy Donine. And uh, uh, if, at the end, I'll put my information on here. If you want to get in touch with me, if you're watching this, then we can get that webinar into your hands. That one's going to be specifically about women's health. Um, but you can see there's a, a, a few products um, that you can see in the background of some of these pictures. I just want to show you a couple of those. I actually pulled out a bunch of them. I shared with you about the um, probiotics. And so we have a couple brands that we uh, we recommend that we have in the center. But really, you can pick up some from uh, your local pharmacy. We have something called PerioProtect. It's a um, they take a, a mold of your upper and, and lower jaw. Um, and then they put this gel that has hydrogen peroxide. Um, and so I do this each night um, in each morning for about 15 minutes. And not only does it whiten your teeth, but it gets down into um, the, uh, the pockets uh, that the bacteria oftentimes uh, hides in that you can't necessarily get with a toothbrush. Um, we also recommend uh, a, either a, a toothpaste or a gum that has something called xylitol. Um, xylitol is actually more common than you think. Um, but if you look on the back, you want to make sure that that xylitol, it starts with an X, is the first ingredients because um, that actually is a natural sweetener that kills bacteria, um, not just coats your teeth. And so uh, we use that. Uh, in the back, you also might be able to see something called Stella Life. Stella Life is a homeopathic uh, plant-based um, ointment. Uh, it's also a spray. It's also a rinse. Um, and that's, it's, it, it speeds up your healing in your mouth. Um, and I don't know if you see um, on that previous graphic, there's some bottles in the back. And these are one of my favorites. So the red bottles, those are fruits. Um, it's basically the company that has uh, figured out how to take fruits and vegetables, dehydrate them at low temperatures to preserve the integrity of the nutrients, crystallize the sugar out because you don't need the water and the sugar. What you really need is the nutrients. And so they have three blends. It's a fruit, veggie, and berries. And so it's 30 fruits and veggies in cow form that you can eat before noon every day and an hour before you go to sleep. Uh, Dr. Golder shared with me, um, I think he asked me, uh, well, Henry, when does your body repair most? When does the DNA replicate and your cells divide? It's when you sleep. So why wouldn't you flood your blood with the best of the best nutrient? Um, and there's also um, one of our uh, one of our favorites that we have in there too um, is something called uh, complete, and that's in that brown box in the back. Um, and it gives you all the fiber, which is super good for heart because um, your, your, it goes into your gut, feeds the good guys, so you have a healthy microbiota in your, in your intestines. But the soluble fiber goes through the walls of the small intestines and helps um, clear out your arteries. So we really like to take a look at um, how much fiber is in your diet in terms of soluble and insoluble. Um, so they're just those are just some tools that we uh, we use to uh, to partner with people and their health at home because we know we we can't see them all the time. Wow. So I'm amazed at that gum, um, the mode that you put into your mouth um, daily with the hydrogen peroxide. I thought I was your friend. You didn't tell me that greatest secret. I love that, Henry. I really love that. You got to tell me more about I'll that. Connect. I mean, that sounds I'll connect you with the inventors. Yeah, and, yeah. and it'll whiten as Tom, well. Tanya I mean, and Dwayne. Yeah, that is amazing. I love it. Okay, so I, I know that you've spoken about 
Juice Plus and a lot of other products that you recommend in your office. I've been eating Juice Plus for the last 17 years myself. So I know the booger is good and it gets me what I need daily. So how long have you been taking it, Henry? So I was introduced to it about nine years ago and I wasn't eating it consistently. I say eat because you take vitamins and you take uh, medicine, but you actually eat food. And so these those dehydrated powders, um, I literally eat over um, 45 superfoods before noon every day and an hour before I go to sleep. Um, so I've been eating it consistently for three years now. Inflammation um, has been reduced systemically all over my joints and my skin. Acne scars have disappeared. Um, I haven't had this healthy skin, um, you know, forever. And uh, uh, my immune system is super strong, especially in the world that we live in today. Super important. So, um, wow. yeah, that's oh. that's uh, something that we we swear by. Well, yeah, it sounds sim uh, simple and I'm into simple because I'm so busy and I don't have a lot of time to research a lot of things. But unlike a lot of a lot of companies out there that have hundreds of products, um, it seems like Juice Plus is simple. So that's why I love it. And I believe they have like five, five different products uh, in their line from a uh, cardiovascular disease mm -hmm. perspective. What would you recommend for someone getting started, like Omega's heart and body, or you know, like what 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 do you want? I mean, what do I need to get on it? What 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 should I be asking you to help me get started on this journey? Yeah, so uh, for all of our heart attack and stroke patients, whether or not they've had an episode or we're trying to prevent one, those Omegas are super important, and it's not just Omega threes; it's all five of these Omegas you can find with in a plant um, a plant source. And so wow. this is one of our flagship products that we recommend. Wow, plant-based. So, you know, that's a really neat question because I always ask everybody, where do you think omegas come from? And everyone says fish, of course, but then it's fish is not plant-based. So they, and they have to rethink it. And we know where it comes from. It comes from the great uh, algae from the sea. So again, it's a plant from the sea. So I'm loving it. So it stays in line with being um vegetarian, I should say. So we're coming close to the end. How do we get in touch with you to learn more about the remote telemedicine, teledentistry, Juice Plus, and how to get it free for our kids? You can see here, uh, our center is located in, in uh, Columbus, Ohio. There's the number for office and you can simply call and, and ask to set up an appointment or just to ask some questions to learn more. My information is down at the bottom. That's my personal cell phone. Please don't call it in the middle of the night. <laughs> More than welcome to drop me an email or ask. Um, and our heart attack and stroke prevention center and complete health dentistry are under the same roof. And that's our address there too with our website. Wow. The show is over again, Henry. I'm, I don't know if you got to come back again, but <laughs> we'll find another time when we can bring you back. So we just want to say to all of you, happy Valentine's Day, happy heart month. Kung hei fa choy. Now let's go out. Listen to everything Henry shared with us and take care of your heart. Aloha, everyone, and mahalo, yeah. Henry.